Hello everyone. Today I will present you introduction to data since lesson project that we have done with our teammates. Our Pokemon character is Shantro and our group name is Shantro group. Our project topic is estimation of obesity levels based on eating habits and physical condition. My friends in, in the group are Uğur Çok Soylar, Ertuğrul Bahadır Yılmaz, Fırat Beşir Koç and me. Obesity is among the most important health problems of developed and developing countries today. In order to maintain a health life, it is necessary to balance the energy taken with the energy expended. If the energy taken daily is more than the energy spent, the unspent energy is stored as fat in the body and caused obesity. Obesity is defined as abnormal or excessive fat accumulation that present a risk to health by the World Health Organization. It is a serious, common and growing health problem. In research from World Health Organization 2020, from 1975 to 2016, prevalence of obesity uh, near, nearly tripled worldwide and in 2016 39% of adult aged 18 years and over 39% of men and 40% of women were overweight. Our main objective is to estimate obesity in people based on eating habits and physical conditions. We will research answer about question given below to support our main task and find useful information about obesity factors such as. Also with these questions we will find which factor of daily life has an impact of obesity or not. Our questions are as follows. One. How effective is the bad habits such as alcohol and smoke in obesity? Many people live an unhealthy life due to obesity, which is an important problem of our day and threatens young people, even children. As known, smoking and alcohol consumption negatively affect human health. With this question in our project we will find out whether smoking and alcohol consumption has an effect on obesity. 2. Can impact of unhealthy nutrition reduce with changing transportation way? With this question in the present project we will observe whether there is a relationship between people's conception of high calorie food and their transportation preference. 3. Do technological devices have an effect on obesity? Technology is indispensable for us in this century. However, the uh, overuse of technological devices cause health problem in humans. With this question, in the project we will observe whether the duration, duration of people's use of technological device affects the risk of obesity. 4. Is there a relationship between obesity and gender? What could, could be the reason for this? Is the rate of obesity higher in women or men? We all wondered about this question. With this question in the project, we will observe whether there is a relationship between the gender of people and their obesity types. 5. In what age range are the types of obesity more common? What does this show? With this question in the project, we will observe whether there is a relationship between the age of people and their obesity types. In which age range obesity is seen more? We will answer this question as well. 6. Is there a relationship between obesity types and transportation? 
can we clearly say that being on the move affects obesity? In daily life, people provide many different types of transportation. These are automobile, bike, motorbike, public transportation, walking. With this question in the project, we will observe whether there is a relationship between people's transportation preferences and obesity types. And we will also explain how being on the move affects obesity. Approach Understand the data. The dataset contains information about eating habits and physical condition of individuals from Mexico, Peru, and Colombia, aging between 14 and 61. The dataset has 70 features and 2,111 records. records. Some of the 17 features in the dataset show the characteristics corresponding to physical state. Some of them the characteristic corresponding to eating habits and some of the personal characteristic. You can see names of these properties and what they mean in the report the commands. Main task. The task we will answer by using the information in the dataset and using the necessary techniques. To determine whether there is a risk of obesity according to values entered for human in a test data that we will add to our data set later. As a result, we are trying to find out if there is an obesity risk by using the features of a test data in the data set. We use the values of our friends in the group as test data. In this way, we learned whether we have a risk of obesity or not. We have also included extensive information on this subject in our report. Model The main task of this project is to find the obesity type, a person from him or her choice and personal characteristics such as age, weight, height, gender, etc. To calculate the obesity type, we use the support vector classification, which has contains a powerful match to calculate neighbors as other classification models. The aim of using the model is height accuracy, height precision, and height recall values of model. The result of the model we applied for our dataset is given on the right side. Visualization we have included visualization almost everywhere in our project because we know that uh, without visualization uh, the radical uh, knowledge is insufficient and our un understanding becomes difficult. We answered all questions by supporting them with visualization. Also through, uh, through analysis uh, we use some visual object to understand the data. We clearly include all factor affecting obesity in our study. We have seen whether there is a risk of obesity according to the data of individuals. With this study, we tried uh, to raise uh, awareness of people about obesity. On the right, you can see the distribution of obesity types in our data set. The data has seven types of obesity level which rate close to each other. Thus, we can research obesity factors in a balanced data much better. We use this and many other graphics, tables and objects in our projects. Conclusion The model has a high predictive value for predictions a person's risk of obesity. For example, we estimate our obesity risk as group numbers. We try to find out whether we have obesity risk with the model. As a result, we got an output like above. We are normal weight according to model. Therefore, we have no risk of obesity. If we enter the wrong values, the model cannot get the correct result for us. Finally, I would like to briefly go over the codes we wrote for our project. We have two Python files. The first is the file containing the question and the uh, codes related to extract feature in our project and the other contains the code necessary for the solution of our main task and to create a model. 
I want to briefly mention some information things. Here we checked for missing data in the dataset. As you can see, none of the features are missing data. In this figure, the weighted obesity distribution by age of all people in our dataset is given. As you can see from the table, there is an increase in the obesity distribution of people between the ages of 19 and 26. The reason for this may be that young people consume more high calorie foods, do not eat healthy and spend long hours on technological devices. This section contains some useful information about extract features that we have derived ourselves. In the code here, we convert the data in the dataset into numerical values to use in our model. The output obtained is here. All data convert numerical values. In the code here, we create a model. Model accuracy may differ each time we run the project. The reason for this is that uh, the test data the model receives in the dataset each time gets mixed up and the data that the model does not know is called. In this case, the model accuracy may differ each time. Here, all the features of the dataset are visualized. It continues down this way. Our project is generally like this. Thank you so much.